Crews are getting ready. They're expecting to respond to downed power lines across Hampton Roads due to Hurricane Michael. 13 News Now reporter Robert Boyd continues our coverage. Well, I'm standing here in the Kings Grant neighborhood in Virginia Beach, and unfortunately, a neighborhood that often loses power during storms. And here's why. Lots of large old trees, usually right next to power lines, and that's often a recipe for disaster when you have these strong wind gusts. And uh, residents we spoke with today said they are definitely preparing for this storm. Chase Hill is stacking up his patio furniture and hiding it in the garage. One of many extra precautions he's taking before the remnants of Hurricane Michael come barreling through. And making sure the cars are parked away from the trees. Had a lot of friends in the past who have trees have fallen and smashed cars in the driveway. Hill said he just expects to lose power at his house. So the real question is how long? Is it going to be three days? Is it going to be a week? Is it going to be two weeks? The winds are what can really wreak havoc on our system. Dominion Power is already asking customers to be patient. And even more importantly, be safe. We're asking our customers to be prepared for extended outages. So please, if you see a down line, don't touch it. Stay far away from it, at least 30 feet. Dominion Power said customers should have their number written down or saved in their phone. Don't wait to look it up. So a lot of times um, we don't know if your power is out. So we say always report your outages so that we can make sure that we get to you as soon as possible. Hill understands sometimes losing power just can't be avoided. But when it comes to his Halloween decorations, he is taking control. Yeah, obviously you don't want your decorations you paid for and you spent all this time putting in the yard and ending up in the neighbor's yard three blocks down the road. But he also acknowledged no matter what measures are taken, damage is sometimes inevitable. Uh, you know, we just planted some flowers about a week ago and we're just we're, we're anticipating those being destroyed by the heavy waters and the heavy winds and everything like that. In Virginia Beach, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.